This morning, Ontario's chief medical officer of health said it wasn't necessary to shut down non-essential businesses, including restaurants and bars. Just four hours later, Dr. David Williams declared he was asking all bars and restaurants to close voluntarily or do takeout only. And Toronto is strongly recommending they shut down by midnight, as well as nightclubs and theatres. So what has changed? It's now been confirmed COVID-19 is in the community. Officials say there are three cases in Toronto where they don't know the source of infection. Here's the Chief Medical Officer of Health of Ontario on bars and restaurants shutting down. We recommend that they should, except those they could maintain services for takeout and delivery. And what has changed in the past four hours when you were asked about this and this, we were not at that stage yet? Um, as I said, the morning at four hours, waiting to hear what the federal government said and what the, uh, on the aspects there. So as I said, uh, we'll wait to see what happens at one o'clock and then later. And then we had some further directions from the Chief Public Health Officer of Canada. Many stores are also voluntarily closing. Lululemon, Apple, for example. But what does this mean for those workers as well as those in bars and restaurants that are being told to close? I'm waiting for further clarifi clarification from the government. But earlier today, the Premier announced he was introducing new legislation to protect workers who have to take off time due to the coronavirus. A lot of people can work from home, but we need to protect the people working the line or doing shift work who don't have that luxury. And the last thing we want right now is for people to worry about job security. That's why I've asked our team to start drafting legislation to protect workers and families. If this law is passed, it will ensure that if you are in quarantine because you're experiencing symptoms or you've been asked to self-isolate, you will not lose your job. If you're a parent and you need to stay home to look after the kids while schools are closed, you will not lose your job. And we're going to remove the requirement for a doctor's note if you are in isolation at home due to COVID-19 symptoms. I want to thank the business community who have already taken steps to keep their employees and customers safe. And as Minister Elliott and I said over the weekend, we need to have each other's back right now. Check in on, your, on, on seniors and those most vulnerable. Doug Ford and the team of ministers he had with him this morning was also asked if he thought all non-essential business should be closed the way they have been in Italy. Both he and his health minister did not rule that out. And take note, the premier stressed that the flu food supply will not be interrupted and he is asking everyone not to hoard. He says there will be enough food.